Hi guys. Guess what I got? I got the Alice Through the Looking Glass palette. There, there was no question. You know, I know a lot of people have been like, well, you know, it's $60. It's kind of crazy. It's just kind of kitschy. It's just for the movie. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I wanted it. From the first little temp temptings that they had online, when I saw it, I wanted it. And the reason why I wanted it is I am a makeup collector. I do love really well-made palettes, really pretty palettes. And Urban Decay, you know, in the way back times, made palettes like this. Well, I've only been collecting for a couple years, so I've never had any of these really cool palettes. So this is the first one that I've had and I'm super excited about it for that reason. Also, I do love um, Alice in Wonderland. So for me, it was really, really, you know, an easy answer. This was something that I was treating myself to, um, you know, with no questions asked. Um, it's, a, it's a beautiful box. Um, when you open it up, it's got really beautiful black and white inside the box. It's really, really pretty. This is the palette itself. Um, so it looks just like the outside of the box and you can, it's all, there's a lot of three dimensional feelings on it. Um, when you open it up, there is a mirror. There's a ribbon that holds it open. So it is really, really pretty. Um, in the mirror, it says, we're all mad here. <laughs> Um, in the inside it says, I'm not so strange, or I'm not strange, weird, off, nor crazy. My reality is just different from yours. And I think a lot of people can relate to that. So, so pretty. One of the things that I really hate about this is that the palette keeps on coming out. They could have solved that by putting a magnet in the back of it, and they didn't. So here is the cool, 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 the cool kid toy aspect of this palette. Is that it has this three-dimensional um, butterfly right here so super super pretty really really pretty and there's ironically magnets to keep that closed but not to keep the palette in the one nice thing is that the palette itself comes completely out of this box so you don't necessarily have to mess with it falling or anything like that it does um you know they've they've designed it so that it looks like they're 3d but they're not they're just it's just the way it's painted and the colors it's really pretty it comes with a really 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 pretty brush i have to say the brush was one of the reasons why i wanted to get this because the colors on it are just so so pretty it is a double-ended brush i've always loved the brushes that come with the urban decay palettes i've always thought that they were good palettes or good brushes I mean, yes, have I had better better brushes in my lifetime? Yes, but I've always liked these. I don't know. They're always they've always performed well for me. This is sort of like a pencil small end brush, and then this is like a crease brush, and it's got that the same coloring. It's like gorgeous. I wish there was an opportunity to buy more of these brushes because I would definitely um, buy more of them. Um, so the brush just sits right in there, and actually, I'm going to keep that out so it doesn't keep on popping up. So you've got all of these colors in here and they're absolutely gorgeous. So apparently the way that these are situated is they are specific to each character or some of the characters in the movie. Like this first row is the Alice row. And in it you have looking glass, um, reflection, Dormouse and Metamorphosis. Isn't that a pretty periwinkle blue? Really, really gorgeous. The second row is the Mad Hatter row. Okay, so from top to bottom, you have Hatter, Gone Mad is the second one down, Paradox is this gorgeous orange color, and Cake is this beautiful fuchsia color right here. The Third row over is for Marana, a character in the movie. And you have Lily. These are really nice basic colors. Duchess, Kingdom, and Chessboard, which is right here. And the fourth row over is for Erekabath. Um, The first color, which I think that's the queen, right? 
is um, Heads Will Roll. Yeah, that makes sense. The second one is Bandersnatch. Look at that gorgeous teal blue. How pretty is that? Bandersnatch is such a cool um, word. Uh, Salazen Grom is this orangey color right here. The next color is Royal Flush. That's the one on the bottom. I'm not swatching them because I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use this palette or not. Um, but I will find some swatches online and I'm going to show them and attach them as photos at the end of this. I'm not sure that I really want to touch the, the palette. It's so pretty. Um, the last, <laughs> I know that sounds silly. I know that someone's going to say, why would you buy makeup and not try it? Because I'm a collector. Makeup is what I collect. The last uh, one over here is, the last row is Time. Um, and the first color, this black color is called, it's not black actually, it's like black blue, it's called Time. See, you know, I'm looking at these colors and I'm like, I need to use these. So maybe I will be doing some looks with them, we'll see. The second color is Dream On. The third color down is Chromosphere. And the last color is Mirror. And it's a super reflective silver color. Ugh, that royal flush is so pretty. Oh, screw it. I'm touching it. Look at that. <gasps> so pretty. Oh, my God. Wow, so pretty. Okay, let them eat cake. I have to touch cake. <gasps> it's like this iridescent pink. <sighs> so pretty. Oh, my gosh. So pretty. Okay, so I'm using it, apparently. I'll be doing some looks with it for sure. Thanks for watching, guys. And as usual, I love you. I appreciate you. I love your questions. I love that someone watches what I make. Um, if you would like to, please subscribe down below. Um, please watch my videos. Um, it makes me happy. Love you. Bye.